Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and today we're going to Ikea to pick up some things So we ordered a couple of things for the entrance of the house So we want to put somewhere where we can arrive and put inside the keys, your bags, hanging space So I'm getting a little bit nervous about finishing the house because Paula's parents are gonna arrive in one month I mean, it's not like we need to have everything perfect and it's taking forever so for so many things to arrive We are arriving we decided to come pick it up instead of asking them to deliver because they gave you this time windows of when they're gonna deliver something and it's like from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and you need to be home all the time to receive it and they always arrive when you go out to go and buy the smallest thing for five minutes not here he went to leave the cart i'm gonna do a uh, what's in my bag for you and this is my picotine in the 18 size in nata clemens leather with palladium hardware but i'm starting to use and love my constance slim i'm using it as a wallet right now but i used it the other day as a mini bag with a crossbody strap and i really loved it so inside it has cash cards a hair clip and my subway card and my keys so polo is back we are going home and hopefully we can go to sephora i run out of a ton of my makeup and i've been really not wanting to go because it's always so full i go to the one that it's like in paseo de gracia so there's always a ton of people and a lot of lines but i really need to go now so that's the plan for today So this is the area that we want to focus on. We want to put here space to put things and then we want to hang stuff here. Here is the update and it's already assembled. It has quite a few drawers and we did the hanging station right here and we plan to put a little bench here. So yeah, that's right now how the entrance is looking. It's definitely way better than before. And I do have a dilemma so you can help me out. I'm thinking about framing my Hermes cars and putting them the two of them here or maybe just one or buy a painting or something and probably a lamp right here so so far this is how it's looking this is one of the chanel scarves that i was thinking of framing so it's actually quite big so this is on the bed so you can see a little bit so it's actually way too cold for me to only be wearing a sweater so i'm gonna change But Marco, my friend, called us and she needs help because she just received a wine cellar to be a little bit more exact and she wants help to carry it upstairs, so we're going. <laughs> So we now have another coffee machine, but let's have our morning coffee. Good morning, today is Tuesday. We have the coffee here, but I do want to show you what I got from Sephora yesterday. I got a few things. First off, we woke up and it was freezing. So we have the fireplace on. It was literally out of nowhere, like a couple of days ago. It was so warm and now like it's freezing and it's super, super windy. So we have everything closed, fireplace on and it's super cozy. Kind of smells like Christmas because I bought a couple of candles from Sarah Home. But I did want to have my coffee this morning and show you what I got. One thing that I do when it 
comes to makeup and it's very annoying is that I run out of something and I do not go and buy it. Like I wait till I don't have 10 different things and I'm just like trying to live without every single one. But then I'm like, okay, now I have to go. So that's what I did yesterday. So first I always get questions about what I use for my hair and these are my go-to shampoo and conditioner from Moroccan Oil. So everything I'm gonna try to link it in the description box down below. I actually ran out of this once before we came to Spain. So it was time for me to get them. This is the best dry shampoo that I can recommend you like ever. It doesn't leave your hair like super sticky. Like I'm trying to not wash my hair every single day. I used to wash my hair every single day, but it dries it up so much and I have a very oily scalp. So this has been an amazing solution for me because it leaves my hair super soft and it looks very fresh after this. So I'm trying to wash my hair every two, three days. Depends on what I've been doing. And I also got setting spray. Let me open it up. This is from Urban Decay All Night Ultra Matte. The next one is... I actually went in for a concealer, but I went out with foundation. And this is from Wear Beauty. I don't really like using foundation because I just feel like it makes you look a little bit cakey. So I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. But sometimes it makes me look super shiny. So I wanted to try something a little less like... I don't know how to explain it. So I'm gonna try this one. And I got it in the shade 210N. You can see here. So this is foundation. And I do like rare beauty a lot so let's see how i like this one i also got a new blush i usually use one from chanel but i wanted to try another one because mine is liquid so this is like a little bit more creamy and i wanted something that was not that like pink more like a little bit like darker so it looks like when you go to the beach or something like that and it's not just like bright bright pink and you you open it up like this. I don't want to blind you, but we can test this one out. It has a very pretty tint to it. In my opinion, it looks very, very natural. So this one is in the shade Nearly Neutral. In case you want to try it out, I really like it. I need brown pencil because I ran out of the other one. So if anyone has never noticed, I have this eyebrow a little bit fuller than this one. So I hate my eyebrows. So I always have to do them because if not, I feel like I look weird. So basically pretty much all rare and Fenty Beauty. I never use a ton because I don't like when they look like too like painted on i just like use them with little pencils to draw a little bit of hairs when it's not so full just like in place this is also from fenty and this one i wanted to try a new type of contour the one that i used to use was powder and i wanted to try a little bit more liquid i wanted the charlotte tilbury one but it was sold out so uh, i don't want to put much makeup on today i tried this one at the store and it was really good and i like that this one will not give like an orange undertone to my skin and i think the last one is this that i don't know if i like it because i usually buy the original one but they run out of it so i got this version and i think this one might be too pink and i use this one as liquid blush and also kind of like lip tint and this is the gogo -Go one so i'm gonna show you what i mean like i'm gonna keep it because after a while it does die down but I mean, I just used just a tiny bit, but if I use a lot, it's just too powerful. It's babies, and that's it. As for the rest of the day, I think that today we're gonna receive my vanity. So we're gonna assemble that and we're gonna put it in the closet. So let's work with the vanity. So I ordered this one from West Wing. <laughs> About the things we said, oh yeah, and maybe we'd be better off being just friends. Oh yeah, it's getting kind of so. I think this is going to finally be the closet final product, and here are the basket for the dirty laundry, and here we have the dresses. We have some new things that I'm gonna show you on the next vlog, and here are the bags. I wanted to show you this. So I got a handbag display for the saddle bag, and there's the blue Birkin. So here you have the Hermes and some Chanel bags section, the shoes, and here we have the Chanel section and the dresses. guys good morning so i'm not sure how much i actually vlogged yesterday so i just woke up i'm gonna have some coffee and today we're gonna chat a little bit because yesterday was such 
a bad day like we're gonna talk about it but today i wanted to like relax a little bit and have like a reset day i tend to only have coffee and maybe like a croissant or something like that so today i just want to treat myself and go and get some pancakes the plan today is i'm just gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go have brunch many of you recommended me a place that is called funky baker so we want to go and try it out and there's one that is very close to a food market we usually go to another food market but we wanted to go and check this one out because it seems to pretty much have everything something that i love since we moved is that we don't go to the supermarket anymore and it's just this very beautiful markets that have everything they have plants they have flowers they have italian food asian food of course spanish food so we want to go and grab some things and i'm also very excited about having brunch but in two three days we start vlogmas number one so you will have a lot of vlogs coming i promise so right now let's get ready let's go have breakfast and then we'll chat when we come back So let's talk about what happened yesterday. I'm not like someone that complains a lot. Like I don't like to do it. In my head, there's always someone that has it worse than you. So I don't see the point on like putting negativity out there. But I think that this might be useful for any of you that probably have lost your Instagram account. So basically, let's laugh about it now. So yesterday started really well. I actually went with Margot to the new Hermes opening store because they closed our store because it was actually quite small. And they tell us that they were going to open on the building right next to it. So it's like... 10 steps away and yes we did make the line for the opening and the store was really really pretty they had so many things they stocked up in shoes they had blankets they had everything except the gold blanket of course they didn't have that which is fine I'm, I'm sure that they're gonna let me know when it's in stock and I'll just go and get it hopefully I wanted to match that pillow to put it here on this couch I come back I have lunch and then when I open the app I just get this little message that said that my account was disabled because I violated community guidelines which was definitely not true I don't even say bad words and I do that, first of all, I do curse in real life, but mostly like in Spanish, like my grandma used to curse out a lot. But like, I, I don't say bad words on my Instagram. I don't say bad words here. Here it's mainly because I don't know if you ever watch my vlogs and your kids are around or... I just don't want to someone randomly hear about a word and you don't want your kids to learn that or you just don't want to hear it in general. So I just don't do it. But I don't post anything that I think could violate community guidelines. Maybe I did, I don't know. So I get the message and it gives you the option to appeal it and of course I appeal but what started to freak me out is that when I logged into my other account the backup that I have that I'm gonna put it here in case this ever happens again so many people told me that there was a big chance that I was never gonna get the account back and I know that you're probably gonna be thinking right now like boohoo it's just an Instagram account but I just started doing this full-time like six months ago it felt like oh this is a sign like I'm not doing the right thing and as much as Polo tried to calm me down like I really just felt like it was gone and not only because of that but i've posted in that account for the last five years and it has so many memories for me the reels that i post i take so much time to do them and i do care a lot because like it's my creative outlet i just really like the things that i post and i think everyone likes what they post obviously but i mean if this happens to you i think you probably feel the same way so not gonna lie i am a person that cries a lot i cry probably like once a week and it triggered a ton of anxiety because i started like i started to really freak out thinking that probably my youtube channel was also going to go 
and what I can advise you in this situation first of all it's just an Instagram account I would have been fine if it was gone honestly Instagram has been so annoying lately like I never see my friends on my explore page it, it's just not the same I hope that they fix it at some point but the stylish freelancer that I'm gonna give her a big shout out she gave me a ton of links to submit forms and also to send emails and that's basically what I did Polo helped me and his parents were helping me too like just filling forms so we could possibly get it back but in my mind it was gone i just didn't have many hopes on it and for some reason like 11 pm i get this message from celesta telling me that my account was back and of course at first i didn't believe it because there was no way that i got the account back in less than 24 hours after being banned from instagram but then it was just back like i truly do not understand it was very fast and i am aware that i was very 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 lucky that they brought my account back so fast so in case this helps anyone i'm gonna leave all the forms and the emails that i used to recover my account under the description box down below i hope it helps you i think it's just up to luck that someone actually gets to see the email and just decides that you didn't violate community guidelines but it also comes to show me a little bit more about like yes i was sad and i was stressed because of course i would have cared if it was gone forever a lot but i realized that i just like youtube way more because i was like oh it's fine i still have my youtube channel and i've been really really loving creating here and especially with vlogs i think it has changed a little bit my way to see my youtube channel like before i just had like a few topics and now i don't know this feels like really good even for my mental health and i love editing like being able to be like creative and i love editing videos it's something that i would do since i was really really young i would edit videos for my friends when it was their birthdays and if there was like a project in school i was always the one who was like i love editing on imovie and now i use final cut which is a little bit more complex but i just love learning like new things on how to color correct how to fix the lighting or sound I just really like doing it. So that was the first thing that happened yesterday. The rest of them were like just tiny little things that tend to add up. So I ended up not really vlogging that much. So I think this is the last that I'm gonna vlog because I need to run and start doing vlogmas number one. So yes, you're gonna have vlogmas. I'm gonna explain a little bit what type of vlogmas we are getting. So I honestly don't know. I don't talk to other content creators other than my two friends that I have. I truthfully want to know how people manage to do like daily vlogmas. How can you like film and edit everything on the same day like do you have time for anything else and for us we're gonna have like family over for the holidays for over 10 days so i hope that you understand that for me right now it's not very realistic to film every day and edit every day and i do not want to pay an editor my favorite part about youtube is probably editing way more than being on camera choosing the music and the cuts being on beat even like the fonts and color correction and everything for me it's just like what makes it something that i wanted to do like if i have the time i would like to be an editor for other youtubers but for me hiring someone to edit my videos doesn't seem something that i want to do i don't think that i would be happy not because it's not a good work just because it's not what i would have done probably i don't know maybe it's something that i can consider for next year maybe next year in vlogmas i can hire an editor and test it out but for now i just don't think that it's something that i want to do so for me what right now seems realistic is to do weekly vlogmas you're gonna see everything we're gonna do christmas shopping for gifts i do want to show you how barcelona looks with all the lights like it looks so so beautiful so yeah so it's gonna be a vlog per week and a sit down video and i wanted to ask you for input so i've been feeling a little bit burnt out like i usually don't talk about this stuff but sometimes this feel overwhelming because i feel like i cannot take like a week off and i know that i can if i wanted to but i also don't think that it's going to be the solution i'm just having a hard time knowing what you guys want to see from my channel especially when it comes to the sit down videos i do have some videos planned that i wanted to film so now that i have have the Birkin 30 I want to do a Birkin 30 versus Birkin 25 so I'm sitting down to film that sometime soon after I've used the 30 a couple of more times but at the end of the day what matters is what you want to see so I would just love to know what you would like to see like for the rest of the year and probably next year too and I think this is it I'm gonna start working a little bit on vlogmas and of course edit this video I know that it looks very bright but like in an hour or two it's gonna be nighttime because here it's dark at five so I think this is it thank you so much for watching this vlog if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing i would really appreciate that and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching my channel i'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye